guys, so it's day two and we're in Pershing Square Cafe for breakfast and I have got pancakes and strawberries and it looks really, really nice. We're finished breakfast and we're heading across the road to Grand Central Station and look, I've got eyeshadow on, this one's fine and this eye's creased. How is that even possible? But anyway, let's go into the station because it's beautiful. I really want to get Lindsay's reaction to this because she's so excited. She's so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, you're so cute. I'm so happy. I don't know why. I don't know why, but this is what I've been so excited for. And now we're actually. This is Grand Central. Even the ticket office is cute. Like, look at that. How adorable is that? And then, like, all the departure boards. Like, everywhere in this station is just incredibly beautiful. We are still in Central Station, and we just went to the Whispering Walls. So it's these ones here, just in front of the Oyster Bar, and like diagonally across. Like, you can hear what people are saying. So. Lauren and I were chatting and it was so weird because it's literally like the person's right next to you. Um, but yeah, we were very surprised it did work. I don't know why, like, I was convinced it wasn't going to. It just seems so unlikely. Yeah, I was just like, no, there's no way, it's not happening, but it worked. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, and I've never done that before, so that was like a totally new experience. New experience. So now we're heading to the library via a Sephora because I got Lolita, which is on my lips right now and now Jill wants it and Lauren wants it so we're gonna go on the hunt. We're just out of Sephora. I've been good, I didn't buy anything that time but Lauren got, Lauren got Lolita and um, we are, we also want this Kat Von D blush that we both want that seems to be very difficult to get a hold of. We've been to three Sephoras now. Yep, three. Um, none of them have had it so that's the mission. We all we are not defeated. We're only on day two of the holiday. Like, so it'll happen. But we're now heading to the that blush from Cat Von D. Oh, yeah. The um, Morticia and Gomez one. It's going to be mine. But we are now at the library. So I showed this in my vlog from the last time I went to New York. That terrible vlog with that video camera. Chill's like, I'm away across the road, but. We're all, we're all taking pictures and stuff. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, I'm excited to get inside and show you the inside. I love that no matter where you look in New York, there's like, just cool buildings. Like just look at the, just the general line and then you come up to, to this guy. We're all taking loads of photos and chills like, cross the road and under shelter before we've even got up the steps. Hey guys, so we're in the library and I vlogged this the last time I was here. These are the steps where Carrie gets jilted in Sex in the City. Drops her phone and he's not coming and it's really sad. Hey guys, so we took the open top bus around the uptown loop and we've just got off at the stop for the Natural History Museum. I've never been in this. But I'm really excited because I love the night the museum films. We're crossing the road. So many puddles because it's so rainy. <laughs> but yeah, this is the museum if it focuses. So slight change of plan. Um, the way to get into the Met, uh, into the Met, into the Natural History Museum is two hours. I want to put this. Yeah, there we go. I'll get wet and I'll keep my camera dry. Um, it's two hours wait to get in. We've got passes that have some kind of queue skip thing on them. But we need to wait the two hours to get in and swap the pass, which we didn't realise. So we're not doing that today. We're definitely going to come back and do it though. But we're waiting. We're going to go back in the bus. It's kind of pointless being in the bus because it's so rainy that we're not sitting. That here's really annoying me. But I'm carrying the camera in one hand and one belt in the other. So I'm really sorry. We'll have to deal with it. Um, so we're really just using the bus as a mode of transport at the moment rather than actually kind of appreciating it. Um, 
but yeah, I've never been in the west side of the city like ever in my life, so this is interesting. I can see it, it's cool. So yet another change of plan, we're now on the subway um, and we're heading down to the Rockefeller Centre instead of waiting in the bus, because the bus was only once every half hour and it was just too wet to wait for half an hour with no shelter or anything. Um, so we're hoping that we can get down to the Rockefeller and exchange our passes here. We don't want to go up the rock today because it is, um, you know, still really wet and stuff so the visibility wouldn't be that great. That is one of the things that's included in our passes. But we're hoping that we'll be able to go and switch our vouchers so that we've got it and then that way we don't potentially need to be like waiting in queues. We've just got our tickets and we've got the queue jump on them, we think, mm. we hope. So that is the plan and we're going to go to Magnolia Bakery and have cupcakes and generally dry. Yeah, dry on. That's the plan. We all, all good with the plan? Very good with the plan. I feel like that's going to be. Joe, you just look like, I'm, I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> Oh. We're still having a wonderful day. We are. We're in the best city in the world. It's just, like, it's just wet. And the wind's wet look is clearly on trend right now. Well, so we're all working it. You know, what is going on here? The wind, wind rain. The thing is, it was snowy yesterday, it's rainy today, and then it's supposed to be sunny and dry. Cold, but still sunny and dry for the rest of the holiday. So we're getting the like, let's good days out the way right at the start, and then that's it. That's it. So. And we can cope with cold, so we just would like it to be dry. Where we're also used to rain, but you can't do that much in the rain, so we're hoping for cold and dry. I can't decide what I want. This looks amazing. see that. But I feel like cake's really messy to eat, so I'm better getting like a cupcake that's small and manageable, but everything looks good. It all just looks too good, that's a problem. The Rockefeller, this is the weather outside, if you guys can see. I feel like the rain looks nowhere near as bad on camera as it is, but we're sitting looking out onto the ice skating rink um, and we're going to sit and eat our Magnolia Bakery goodies here. So I got, I can't do this one handed, give me a second. I got this cake, which is basically the cupcake version of the big cake that I was looking at, and it was like still warm, they were just put out, so it started to melt a little bit. And then I got a cookie as well because I couldn't choose. So that's my lunch. We've just come out of the Rockefeller Centre. So we're on like the Fifth Avenue entrance. So there's the, the Atlas statue. Oh, there's my umbrella. But yeah, there's the statue. And then right across from that is St. Patrick's Cathedral. So yeah, this is a, I'm sorry, this umbrella keeps getting in shot, but there you go. This is a nice view to have. We're on Fifth Avenue. Warren's bought a beautiful, beautiful handbag, but I'll show you that when we're home. It's from Bendel's. Um, and now we're crossing the road to go look at the 80s ridiculousness that is Trump Tower. We're in Trump Tower and there's a stand full of Trump merchandise. Now we're not buying anything because I'm not, I, I refuse even within this hour to contribute to anything that might by proxy give money to the vile human being that is Donald Trump. I'm really scared in case you find out that I'm a liberal. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, he's a terrible, terrible person. We're really just in here to laugh at the ridiculousness that this entire place is. But the fact there is a Trump store and that you know there are people who will buy stuff from it. It's just like, what a vile human being to fund. Like, like, I know this is Trump Tower and it's probably like, why did you all come in here if you hate him? But it's just like, like there's, there's a waterfall on the wall. Like, it's worth coming in to kind of just look at the... I know. I know. He, it's a shrine to himself. That is exactly what this is. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty impressive looking building, but... Yeah, it's just like Donald J. Trump signature collection. Trump. Trump. Not Jill, obviously, the sign behind her. The Trump store. This is just ridiculous. Crippled America. How to make America great again. I know. I can't deal. We can't, we're, 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 we're not okay, guys. We're away to Nike Town. We are out of the ridiculousness that is Trump Tower. 
um, and we're now heading to Bergdorf's and then we're not going to walk any further up, we're just going to turn around and walk back down Fifth Avenue um, right back down to the kind of Town Square area because we're going to see Aladdin tonight which will be so exciting. This is my favourite shop in the entire world. It's the nicest shop in the world. Like if you're ever in New York, you have to have to have to go to Bergdorf's. It's a little bit later, I have made a very exciting purchase um, and we've just been in the, the Fifth Avenue Sephora um, which you can't really see because there's a tent right in front of it there. Um, but it's a really, really beautiful spot and definitely worth looking in if you're ever in New York. But we're now heading kind of down towards the general director of our theatre. But we can see the Empire State Building and it's all lit up in purple and yellow. So I'm going to show you because it's really cute. I feel like it doesn't look anything like as good on camera as it does in person. Like it looks really washed out, but it's really vibrant in real life. It's lovely. We're at the theatre and we're getting ready to go in and see Aladdin! Look guys, there's an actual lamp! It's like the Cave of Wonder! So, we are going to Ellen Stardust Diner for dinner tonight. Oh, that's beautiful, Guys, we're in Ellen, the woman that's about to sing. She just did um, Let It Go from Frozen, she was incredible. She did Phantom before that. Yeah. 